Well, light rain falling here at the MCG. The scoreboard shows only 10 goals scored in the first half. To talk about the forwards and the backlines, former Richmond captain, a member of four premiership teams, and probably the greatest centre-half forward in recent years, Royce Hart. Royce, not much work for the forwards. They've had their job cut out kicking goals. Well, both defences have been right on top. Carlton's half-forward flankers and Bizasto and uh, Johnson, who had been very, very good players in the finals up to date, have just been completely put out of business. And the same can be said for uh, Kink and Dacos. Yes, well, Kink, Kink didn't play badly in the first quarter. He seemed to set up a lot of opportunities, but he's been roving all over the ground. I suppose they've had no real focal point up forward, Collingwood. Well, that's right. They've used Kink as more in the ruck rover role rather than the half-forward flanker, and I think that's robbed... Uh, their goal-kicking uh, goal power from their forward line. I'd prefer to see Kink play either in one of the key positions or stay in the half-forward flank. Well, Carlton without Jeff Southby, of course, that's a, leaves a big hole in their defences, but the young fellows, uh, Howell and um, English in the back pocket, have certainly not let the side down. Well, again, there's been real pressure that's been placed on. I suppose you can't, apart from Duel, pick out a really outstanding defender. Everyone's really put in and made it difficult for their, their opposition. Royce Carlton lead by a point. Do you see them running away with it, or do you see it being a very close grand final? I think it'll be a very close grand final. Uh, the longer it goes, I feel a better chances Collingwood have got of taking it off. And also, with this rain coming down, it won't do their chances any harm. Thanks, Royce. Thanks.